When is a system complex? When we talk about things we don't fully understand or can't predict, we often refer to those things as being complex. Commercial organizations, biological cells, transportation systems, global economies. Referring to these things as complex might imply that there's something about them that makes them inherently complex. But on closer inspection, complex is just a stance that we might take towards those things. Consider the weather, for example. At one level, it's very simple and predictable. And without knowing much, we can confidently say that the average temperature in summer is higher than the average temperature in winter. At that level of precision, the weather is very regular and predictable. It's seemingly not complex. However, if we wish to predict the temperature next Saturday to within one degree, then we would need to model a multitude of interacting factors, including air pressure, wind speed and wind direction, as well as all the cloud patterns and precipitation. Of course, we have worldwide weather stations collecting data on such things and supercomputers which apply numerical forecast equations to give us a prediction. But even then, we can't be completely sure what the temperature will be next Saturday. At that level of precision, the weather is chaotic and emergent. It's seemingly rather complex. Considering these different characterizations of the weather, it should be clear that it's neither inherently simple nor inherently complex. The same could be said for commercial organizations, biological cells, transportation systems, global economies, and so on. A commercial organization can be seen as a complex system with social, technical, and socio-technical subsystems, which all interact with each other and behave erratically or as a simple source of income for a family. Similarly, a human cell can be seen as a simple consumer of energy or as a complex system with interacting organelles, networks of biological processes and multi-level behaviours that collectively make the cell highly sensitive to its environment. Transportation systems and global economies can be considered in the same way. Whether we see them as simple or complex is determined by the relationship between how well we understand them and how well we want to understand them, including the timescales we are interested in and the accuracy we require. So the next time we instinctively call something complex, we should consider why we are adopting this complexity stance. We should ask ourselves if it is the most useful perspective to adopt, remembering that simple and complex are actually descriptions of how we characterize things and not of the things themselves.